As this new year continues to unfold, God's grace continues to pour out along with it. This winter brought us lots of snow on the East Coast where I live in New England. And I, for one, am grateful I don't have to go out as much. As I watch the winter season unfurling, I can't help but think of God's goodness. How he keeps us in the center of his will. How he sustains by his righteous right hand. I have wanted for nothing. If there is a name I have come to know God by in this season of my life, it is Faithful One. God has been faithful beyond my wildest, wildest imagination. Remember when he took the children of Israel through the wilderness. He loved them well. He fed them, clothed them, cared for them, and provided for their every need. They wanted for nothing. But even though they had an abundance of everything they needed, they still grumbled, they murmured and they complained. Vices that kept them from inheriting their promised land. As I examine my life, I become aware of moments when I too tend to grumble, to murmur, to complain. Even though the Faithful One has provided for my every single need. Oh, that I may apply my heart unto wisdom and desist from these harmful vices, I pray. And yet, I'm encouraged by the verse in Philippians chapter 2 verse 13 which tells us that it is Yahweh himself who is working in us giving us the desire and the power to do what pleases him. How comforting to read this verse of scripture. I am reminded of two years ago when Adonai led me into the desert to speak to me kindly. Having hopelessly lost my way, I had cried out to him in desperation, finally answering his call to action. He did not delay. I had no idea what journey we embark on when we call on his name or how well he guides us and cares for us through the wilderness. I didn't know that the valley is where he trains our hands for war and our fingers for battle, or that the battle must only be fought on our knees. In a way, I can say that that was my year of breaking and how gently he does that, all the while speaking tenderly to us.
Last year was my year of healing and resting. Poised for the promised land, Adonai prepares us for the battle still to be won once we cross over to the other side. Here is where he gives us provision as we rest in him and he sings over us with his love. He is the porter and we are the clay, surrendered in his loving arms as he kneads and molds us into vessels of honor in his loving hands. This year, I hear him say, Arise, daughter of mine, arise. And as I answer his call, I am amazed every new day by each new revelation of God's depth of love for both you and I. I see his masses all around. And as the snow gently settles, I feel the weight of his presence over his children, loving us still, guiding us. I'm in awe of his display of might and majesty, juxtaposed with a meek and quiet spirit. I am humbled by his grace that he would rescue a wretch like me. I don't know what I did before him, but I do know what I'm doing with the rest of my life following him wherever he leads me. Stay a while, won't you? The journey continues. <laughs>